This video is brought to you by Lightspeed Zulu, simply the quietest, most comfortable headset in the world, and by Philips 66 Aviation, the most trusted wings in aviation. Today, this is the day before opening of Air Venture, we're rolling out our single place 1X airplane. Um, this is an airplane that we've been kind of had on the concept uh, area for about five years now. It's been, we've been thinking about it. And the reason it's been on the radar for us for so long is there's very few ways you can get more affordable than what we already do. And that is the Sonics uh, aircraft line. Uh, we've had a lot of people asking about, well, how, how can you get more affordable than the Sonics? And honestly, it's pretty hard when you're at $25,000 for a complete airplane, approximately, um, including laser cut parts and welded parts and a, and a very modern kit. Um, so the one way you can get more affordable in flying is to go smaller. And obviously the 1X behind me is, uh, looks like you took a Sonics and kind of shrunk it down. Um, the design features of the 1X uh, that make it kind of even more unique than the Sonics would be the folding wing. And uh, let's talk about cost of aviation. So not just the cost of the kit and your time to put it together, but one of the major costs we have uh, to, to flying and operating your own airplane is the maintenance cost, is the storage cost. So we've addressed both of those first off with storage. Uh, we did some fun layouts that I'll be showing during the seminars this week uh, of the 1X with its wings folded up. Uh, actually five of them in a standard T hanger, so perfect for an EAA chapter or for a group of people that like to build and, and operate their own airplanes as a group, have a little squadron. Uh, the wing fold actually takes uh, five seconds per side, so ten seconds total. You can have the wings up and locked and back down. Um, and, and that's kind of a cool thing. So the, the actual dimensions, once you fold the wings, it's less or just over eight feet wide. So it'd be legal to trailer, especially to push up on a flatbed or if you wanted to put the tail wheel on the back of your car and tow it backwards. Um, and it's seven feet tall, just under seven feet tall, which is, happens to be what my two car garage is, seven feet by no accident. We're gonna have a less expensive kit than the Sonics, which is currently at 14,000 for the airframe kit, uh, about 7,000 for the Aero V engine, and then you add all your accessories, upholstery, uh, instruments. Um, so you're gonna be uh, roughly 20,000 bucks for a single place airplane that is, again, let's, talk, let's do the talking points, uh, sport pilot compliant. It's got uh, enough wing area to meet the stall speed requirements. And since we control the Aero V engine, we set the, uh, the, the sea level speed limits for the airplane. So it will qualify as sport pilot. Um, number two, it will be fully aerobatic. I'm the engineer and designer on the airplane and I assisted also with the rest of our product line. So it'll be something you can go and have some fun with, loops, rolls, spins, all the positive G maneuvers that you wanna go, and what we all, in my opinion, fly for ultimately is for fun. But that's the whole concept of the 1X. Um, it's still obviously in the development stages. Uh, we're the kind of company that does not begin advertising anything for sale until it's flown, until we've proven the flight data, until we can confirm that we're ready to stock the parts and sell it as a kit. So you won't see anything from us uh, for a while in terms of solid pricing numbers or performance numbers. But obviously knowing what we know about the Sonics, since it is a scaled Sonics, since it uses the same airfoil as the Sonics, we have a very good idea of what the flight handling is going to be and what the, what the stall speed and cruise speed and top speed. And I'd reference people to our website, which is sonicsaircraft.com and particularly our Hornet's Nest R&D area where we have an entire number of pages devoted to the 1X and its development. And you'll learn a lot there. Also, we filmed a couple of webinars uh, with EAA on the subject and obviously with continuing coverage in kit planes and other magazines, you'll be able to learn a lot about the airplane as we go.